Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you different actions that can be performed after submitting the Elementor contact form. Elementor is one of the best page builder plugin which is widely used on WordPress websites. And you may be using the Elementor contact form on your website. So we are going to create different actions after submitting the contact form. There will be three different types of actions. In the first action, the data will be collected on the WordPress dashboard. So you can go to the submissions and you will see all the entries on your WordPress dashboard. In the second action, the email will be sent to the admin or the owner of the website. And in the third action, an automated email will be sent to the customer or the visitor who has filled up the contact form. So let's see how does this work. Here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. This is a basic contact form created using Elementor. On this contact form, we have name, email, phone and message fields. If I click on this contact form in the left hand panel, you will see the settings of this contact form. At the top, we have form fields, name, email, phone, message. Below that, we have buttons. This is the button. And after that, you will see this option here, actions after submit. So this is the section where you can manage all the actions after submitting the contact form. Here you will see collect submissions and email actions are already added. If I delete this one, only email action will be there. Now, if I want to add more actions, I can simply click on the field. You will see different actions that we can perform after submitting the form. I'm going to add collect submission. This action will collect all the data on the WordPress dashboard. So you will be able to see all the entries on the WordPress dashboard itself. This is the email. So it is going to send the email after submitting the contact form. And we have one more option, email to, which we will use to create an automated reply to the customer or the visitor who has filled up the contact form. So we have three different actions here, call it submission, email, and email to. So whenever you add action, you will see settings options will be added for that particular action. These are the settings for the collect submission. This is for the email, the first email action, and this is for the second email action. If I go to collect submission, you will see collected submissions will be saved to Elementor submission. I'll show you where to find the submissions. And the metadata which will be collected is user IP, user agent. So these two metadatas will be collected. If I go to first email settings, this will send an email to the admin of the website. So here you can add the email address of the website owner or the admin of the website. So it is going to send the data to this email address. For this particular website, we have this admin email address support at paramfreelance.com. This will be the message that the admin will see new message from this website and it will show all the fields. If you want to add more content, you can add content here. This is the short code which will send the data of this contact form, name, email, phone, message, whichever field you have on the contact form, it will send the data to this email using this short code. Below that we have from email. This is the email that the admin will see. From name will be Param Freelance or whatever your website name is, you can add that name here. Reply to will be email field or email at Param Freelance. So it is going to send the email through this email address. However, if you want to reply to the user's email address, you can select this field, email field. If you want to add CC and BCC, you can add that also. Metadata will be a date, time, page, URL, user, agent, remote IP and credit. This will be the date and time of the submission. Send as HTML. You can keep it as it is. Now here comes the email to settings where we are going to add an automated email reply to the visitor. Okay, here you can go to form fields and this is the email address of the visitor. We need to find out the short code for this field. So we have this field here, email, click on it. Go to advanced and when you go to advanced, you will see the short code here. You need to copy this short code. So this is the short code for this email address, which is on the contact form, which will be submitted by the user. And let's go to email two, and you need to enter this here. So two will be the email address of the user. So it is going to send the email to this user. This is the subject line, which the user will see. Thank you for contacting your website name. And below that we have a message here. To add a message here, 
you need to know the basic HTML. I'll show you. Let's delete this one. And I'm going to type in the message. It will be paragraph. And let's say hi. And I want to add the name of this user. So I'm going to use the short code for the name. So let's go to the fields here. Go to advanced and copy the short code for this field. Let's go back and let's add it here. So it will be like hi, the name of the user, then comma. And I want it to go to the next line. So I'm going to use the tag BR. And I'm going to add the message here. Another message. Another break line. All right. So this is the message that will be sent to the user automatically. And below that, we have again all fields which will show all the fields which the customer has already filled up. Okay, so I'm going to keep this as it is. Then we have from email will be your website email address. This is the name of your website and reply to will be your admin email address. So the user will be able to reply to this particular email address. So this is the second email action. Let's update it and let's see how does this work. I'm going to open this page. Now I'm going to fill up the form. And I'm going to add one of my email addresses here. And let's add the phone number. So this is just a message and I'm going to click on send. All right, you will see your submission was successful. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Now the first action will be the submission, which will collect all the data. So let's go to Elementor and you will see the option here, submissions, and you will see the data here. So this is the email and the action status is completed, new form. This is the name of the form. You will see the name of the form. This is the name. You can change the name if you want to change it. And this is the page from where the form has been filled up. If I click on view, it will show the details of the contact form, name, email, phone, and this is the message. So if you want to check all the emails on the WordPress dashboard, you can go to submissions. Now I'll go to my email address. There are two different actions. The first action will send the email to the admin of the website. You will see this is the message, new message from Param Freelance. And this is the data of the contact form. And this is the metadata. I'll show you the metadata again. This is in the first email action. You will see all these metadata here. And this is the URL from where the contact form has been submitted. So this is the first action. Let's go to the second action email. And this is the email for the second action, which is an automated reply to the user. So this is what the user will see. Thank you for contacting the website. And you will see hi, and this is the name of the user. You will see it here. If I go to email two, this is the short code. It, this short code will capture the name of the user. Okay, and then we have this content. Thank you for contacting one of our representatives. We'll contact you, regards, and the name. And this is all fields section. You will see it here. So whatever the customer has filled up, it will show here. So if you want to send an automated email to the visitor, you can use this email to option. There are multiple options after submitting the form. If I click on it, you will see a redirect. So instead of showing the success message after filling up the form, you can redirect the customer to another page using this action. If I click on it, you will see a new section here for the redirect. Here you can enter the link where you want them to redirect. If I go here, you will see other options, webhook, MailChimp, Drip, Active Campaign, Get Response. So you can select any action that you want to perform after submitting the contact form using Elementor. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.